Happy Saturday. So what do we want? What do you want? It's kind of big and kind of simple all at the same time. And the more that I've opened my heart and my mind, my eyes, and, and, and become more awake to each experience that I have, I'm closer to the idea of just wanting to continue to stay awake for the good and the bad and the ugly and the whatever. Because all those adjectives are just associated with my perception or my judgment. And if I can step out of my judgment of a scenario or a situation, then it's just an experience. And I can, I think you can still be somewhat uh, happy and not be, you know, I guess, uh, loving every part of the circumstances. You can be okay without being, you know, with tragedy. You can be okay among tragic events if you're present and open to the experience. And arguably, I would say, if you're just being of service to those around you and yourself, that there is purpose and there is, within purpose, there is esteemable juice to be had. And, uh, and then the moments are worth it. There's serenity in the chaos if you have purpose. Uh, I'm not, you know, look, and that's not an indictment or a judgment. There's plenty of tragedy going on around us. But you can, I think, have a bit of serenity within that chaos if you're awake and you're present and you're of service to things. Um, because my old idea of like, what do I want? You know, I, I was more rooted in money, property, and prestige. And the idea that there was a there, there, that once I had this, once I had, once I looked like this, once I, whatever, fill in the blank, that my inside chaos was going to be fine. And the truth is, it wasn't. So the good news, it's an inside job. And again, the bad news, it's an inside job. The whole everything we grow up with in this Western kind of culture, for the most part, pushes forth, the, pushes forth this agenda that you need these exterior things to be okay inside. And I don't think it could be, I think it, can't be, it couldn't be further from the truth. I've traveled in places where people have very little and they're much more peaceful and happy uh, than people that have everything, that are miserable. So that's kind of awesome for the people that are on some level maybe thinking that you need to have X amount of money to be okay. You know, maybe you just need to be okay and then whatever kind of money you have, you'll be all right. And that's not to diminish the fact that we need to be or you need to pay rent, you need to survive, and that's another unfortunate uh, scenario of culture today and, you know, uh, raising prices and that's all of the stuff that we get to struggle with. Um, but if you're not okay with very little, you're not going to be okay with a lot. I think it's, there's a misalignment there to think that you, you know, all your problems are going to be solved with, uh, with some extra money in the bank. Some problems will be, but not every problem. You'll find new ones. You'll be, maybe you'll be worried about losing the money that you have in the bank, and then you'll be a miserable cuss. Um, who knows? There's a bunch of different um, <laughs> ways that that can fall apart. Um, anyway, happy Saturday. Much love. Peace.